Hey, hey, hey guys, it's your poker guy and welcome back to MPL Poker's YouTube channel. Today what we're going to be talking about is betting in poker. What are the various rules? What are the various terms that are used when you play poker? What are the betting rules you have to follow? Before that, what I'll show you all is a 9 max poker table. In a 9 max poker table, you can see there is early position, there is middle position, there is late position. With all these things in mind, they all create an impact on how you're supposed to bet. Before we move forward, let's talk what are the various terms that are used in poker betting. First is call. What do you mean by calling in poker? Calling means that if before you someone has raised or someone has placed a certain bet, you are deciding to match that amount. You are not going to increase it, you are just matching it. After that comes raise. A raise is imagine if someone before you has actually bet something in the pot but you say no, I'm going to increase the bet size. That is called raising because you're increasing it from the previous bet. Then comes checking. Imagine on the flop, everyone three cards have opened up but no one has hit anything. So you can check. So if someone before you checks, you also have an option of checking which means that you are not going to take put anything into the pot at this moment. And you, if everyone checks, you can then see the next card for free. And finally is fold. Folding in poker means that, okay, irrespective that I have already put in some money into the pot, I am no longer going to put any money into this pot and I am folding, throwing my hand away and I am out of this hand. There are a few more interesting terms like three bets or opening. Opening is something like betting only where if no one has played before you and you are the first person to raise in the hand, it's called opening or betting. Post that, let's come to all in. All in is the most glamorous term in poker where you have seen probably many times people grab all their chips and throw them into the center of the pot. That is called going all in in poker. A very technical term, check raise. This is somewhat what people do when they are trapping someone else. What is check raise? That no one has bet in the pot, it comes to you and you just check. You are saying, why? I'm not going to put any money into this pot anymore. Someone after you raises, he puts in some money, he bets. And now you say, okay, actually, you know what? I have a better hand. I am going to re-raise. So I checked first and then I raised it. That's called check raise in poker. So these are a few betting terms used. Let's also discuss a few poker betting limits. What does this mean? There is sometimes where it's called no limit betting and then there is pot limit betting. In no limit betting, the player or the opponents can raise as much as they want, as much as stack that they have. But when it comes to pot limit betting, you can raise on your turn only up to what is the amount already in the pot. That is called pot limit betting. Next, let's talk about forced bets. What does this mean? Forced bets are usually blinds or antis. Remember, I had shown you this table, which was your 9 max table. You will see that small blind or big blind, which is the places straight away after the button, every hand they have to put in a certain amount of money. Those are blinds. The small blind is half of what the big blind is. That's the amount of money which enters every pot. In tournaments, every player in every hand has to put up a certain money into the pot. That's called antis. With this, there is something in the pot for everyone to play for in every hand. So these are usually forced bets. In online poker, let's talk about what are the buy-ins and poker chips that you can use to actually bet. So the limit here is 100 blinds. So this is not like any other game where you can sit with how much ever money you have and start applying pressure. The max that you can sit with is 100 bigs in any of these cash games. So that is what your buy-in is usually. Going forward, let's talk about main pots and side pots. So imagine if four people are playing this hand, if everyone has put in 50 rupees into the pot, it's 200 rupees, that's your main pot. But imagine if someone, if everyone is already out of their chips and only you and another player are left, playing that hand and he has maybe 200 rupees further. He puts that in and you also call it with your 200. So that extra 400 is a side pot. So now people are playing for main pot, which is all four of you. But the side pot is something which only you and that opponent are playing. So that's how betting takes a part when in terms of main pots and side pots. Hope this video was very clear. If not, have a look again and I'm sure this will help you in understanding your play better. Thank you.